Good morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. We are getting towards the end of summer, but there are still a lot of exciting things going on around the city, including the 2017 Wisconsin State Fair presented by U.S. Cellular. It's happening now through Sunday, August 13th for over a century. The State Fair has offered a unique experience to all who attend and is always a fun and exciting event for the entire family. My first guest is Kathleen. O'Leary. She is the CEO of Wisconsin State Fair Park and probably one of the busiest people I know right now. And there's Brian Bolin, who is Director of Agriculture and Youth Programs. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you both for being here. And like I said, uh, one of the busiest people, especially now, right? <laughs> the Wisconsin State Fair is up and rolling and we've got quite a bit to uh, really fill people in on today just so they don't miss a beat. So uh, let's clarify. We know guys that the state of Wisconsin is known as America's dairy land because it's one of the nation's leading dairy producers, especially the cheese. Every time you go somewhere, people want you to bring them some cheese, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the importance of agriculture and how that uh, ties in with the Wisconsin State Fair. Well, our, our, one of our largest missions is to uh, promote Wisconsin agriculture. And this week in particular, we have the largest junior dairy show in the world actually taking place this year at the State Fair. Oh, wow. And that show has just concluded the last few days on Thursday and Friday. And uh, we've got youth from all over Wisconsin, uh, 54 counties, I believe, in Wisconsin that are here participating at, at the fair. That's awesome. So there's always something new. We talk every year and we were saying very seldom do we have you come to the studio. We're always out there on the <laughs> fairgrounds, but uh, we wanted to get you here to really just uh, so people when they do make their way to the fair, they'll have in the back of their mind, oh, I heard about this. I got to definitely make sure I do that. So uh, what's new? Probably the biggest thing that people have absolutely loved and you cannot miss it is the Wonder Wheel. Mm -hmm. The Wonder Wheel is 15 stories high Whoa. and it sits right along 84th Street, right by the Swine Barn on the west side of the Fair Park. And um, given that it's 15 stories high and the fact that it has 528,000 lights, wow. um, people are loving it. They're <laughs> loving it. There are 36 gondolas on this Wonder Wheel takes 10 minutes to go around. So if you haven't enjoyed it, I highly suggest it's a great way for the family. You know, if you're there with your family, your friends, everybody can get into the gondola. And when you're near the top, you can actually see 10 miles anyway from oh, any wow. vantage point. So it's, uh, it's, it's new and exciting and you truly can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, so everybody's trying to definitely experience that, I'm sure. <laughs> so uh, when you talk about the Wonder Wheel, that takes us right to Spin City because uh, that's where you have your amusement rides and uh, there are some featured rides that you talk about especially on the website I saw the drop and twist I get scared talking about these the galaxy coaster and then there's the giant slide that's there every year right we have the giant slide not to be confused with uh, spin city so spin city if you're at the fair fair park and you're coming down in the fair park you go under the trestle you'll see this it's 14 acres of amusement rides and games. There's over 50 mm -hmm. rides, over 35 games. Um, it is a truly a, a whole amusement ride and game area that you can spend virtually the whole day there. When you talk about the giant slide, the giant slide is up in the middle of the heart of the park, which again, an icon, along yep. with a few other icons that we'll probably talk about, but um, the big bright yellow slide, 113 stairs and <laughs> ride down on a potato sack and it's probably the most fun again, hang on hands with your, you know, if you're taking your kids, they can get on the, the potato sack with you. Again, it's all about making those great memories that you yes. just, they last forever and you can't wait to do it again. Good old fashioned fun, that's it's what you call all that so uh, there are quite a few ways for people to save money uh, we talk about spin city there's a $20 uh, game sheets that they can buy right um, the 20 I highly suggest the game sheets okay. and now that we're into the fair the discounts are there so if you buy the larger sheet tickets those are the better sheets okay I really suggest to the viewers that they buy a bargain book yeah the bargain books are five dollars they're located at any of our guest service information centers in the bargain book alone you're gonna pay five dollars but you're going to almost gain ten dollars and just spin city so if you're planning on spending the day there but there's hundreds of dollars worth of savings in the bargain book okay that's good to know so I'm gonna ask you because everybody has a favorite food at the state fair so and you're there quite a bit during the duration so your favorite food I like the steak sandwich at the Wisconsin <laughs> cattlemen's booth 
<laughs> so you like to eat the cow, Tom. I, eat, I like, love the steak sandwiches. Okay, yeah. what about they you, are Kathleen? They delicious. <laughs> you know what, I love all of the foods that are in the Wisconsin Products Pavilion. Mm -hmm. And certainly for the viewers, again, the Wisconsin Products Pavilion is right there in Ag Village. Um, if, they, if you haven't been, you should definitely go and certainly go hungry. Um, that's where all of our commodity groups are for that we showcase out of Wisconsin. So our cranberry growers, our potato growers, the poultry producers are there. One of my favorites is the bison burrito. So wow. um, bison burrito. The bison burrito. And this it is delicious. is the place where you can find foods that you never probably even gave thought, uh, especially when you talk about the stuff that they're capable of putting on a stick. So <laughs> we have lots of yes, those as well. I mean a long <laughs> list. Everything from a barbecue pork chop on a stick. I think I saw shark on a stick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's cheesecake on a stick. Everything. Spaghetti and meatballs yeah. on a stick. Yeah. How do you even do that? But okay. <laughs> and there's also a lot of fried food. So this is the time that you can kind of just put that diet on pause and enjoy everything, right? You know what? I, sure. When you come out and this is maybe your time to, to enjoy the food and the cream puffs, but we do have a lot of healthy and gluten-free options as That's well. That's good to know. It's very good to know. We have a, a stand right in Central Park that has wonderful salads and a salad on a stick. Um, so, so that's <laughs> that's an option. I try to imagine these things. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, with us talking about the food, of course, you've got your crazy grazing day. That's coming up on Tuesday, August 8th. How's that work? It's really where our vendors come together, and our vendors and our concessionaires are just they're they're so wonderful, and they really want to showcase what their signature food item mm -hmm. is. So, on crazy grazing day, what we like to call it is that they get to kind of give it half half the size for half the price okay right so and a number of our vendors are going to participate so again some of these big sandwiches are just that they're huge so this is a great way to maybe try some things so you won't get the full entree but you're also not paying full price okay like the sound of that so uh, let's get back to the agricultural uh, approach to things so what is the one thing that you would tell the viewers at home they have to see uh, this, this weekend, especially tomorrow and Sunday, is the uh, horse pull. Okay. Uh, we have one of the largest horse pulls in the Midwest, and uh, those happen all day tomorrow, starting at noon, and go all into tomorrow evening. So I have a chance to come and uh, watch watch the horse pulls. Okay, the horse pull. So and that's one to keep in mind. Yes. It's amazing, and you have to see them. Number one, the horses are just absolute gentle giants, yep. and they're yep. they're gorgeous, and uh, the the carts in which they're pulled on are, are spectacular to watch, and mm -hmm. you know some of the the, the you know, people that are actually on the hitch are young, yep. and you see these gigantic horses, horses and yeah. again, yet another epitome of agriculture in our great state mm -hmm. of Wisconsin is that it is truly the pride of the youth of, of our great state that are work tirelessly. That's what it's all about. August 9th, can't forget about this, the Sporkies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so explain what that is. Sporkies is, this will be the fifth year of our Sporkies food mm -hmm. competition. So you think of a spork, a spork, a foon, and a, that's how the word <laughs> came uh, to okay. be, and that's how the name spoon came to be. Spoon and fork spoon together. And fork together. <laughs> Um, so what we do is we challenge our concessionaires and our operators to come up with very innovative foods. Um, we had over 30 of them send in foods. We, we brought it down to eight, so there are eight finalists, mm -hmm. and there were celebrity judges that will actually judge by presentation, by taste, and if you're a finalist that you'll be able to see. So if you come out to the fair or haven't been out yet, you can see the big yellow spork signs, and then you know that those are the finalists, and they're all on our website as well. But the winner will actually be the, and it, you know, it's wonderful to take home the, the blue or the grand champion ribbon, but to take home a sporky winner for our food, <laughs> for our foodies and our food operators is, is a great, you know, yeah. award to win. Yeah, she brings up the blue ribbon. That is something that people work hard for all year long. Yes. Uh, so explain the importance and really the significance behind going home with a blue ribbon from yeah. the fair. The, the state fair is kind of like the Super Bowl of, of youth projects for kids, and uh -huh. many of these kids are working on these projects 365 days a year in preparation to come to the fair and to compete and to see how their animals uh, stack up and mm -hmm. see what the judges have to say about how, how they've been working with their animal throughout the year. So um, it's, a, it's a huge honor to get receive a blue ribbon, and if you're fortunate enough to get a purple ribbon, which is one of our champions, mm -hmm. uh, that's even a bigger honor. Oh, okay. I always thought the blue ribbon was... 
the top, the purple ribbon. Purple ribbon. So you yeah. learn something Champion. new every yes. day. <laughs> now, uh, during the duration of the Wisconsin State Fair, and we have to say presented by U.S. Cellular, <laughs> uh, folks can drive up every day of the week to get cream puffs. And when you think of the fair, you automatically think of cream puffs. So there's actually uh, a website where people can order them in advance, and you've made it so easy. You just drive up and pick them up, right? And we have. <laughs> And we've, we've done a lot of different ways that we can maximize how people can get those cream puffs in their hands. But um, every morning before we open our gates, so from 6 in the morning until 8 o'clock in the morning, the north gates, the big U.S. cellular main gate that you see from the interstate, mm -hmm. um, you can actually drive through our gate 7 or drive through our gate 8, come right in, but you have to call ahead. So you have to call 414-266-7111. You can order as many as, you know, however many. It has to be over a dozen to, to order. Then you just come through and your order's right there. You pick them up and you go to church, you go <laughs> to work, you go to camp, you go wherever you're going and you will be the hero. So Wow, yes. <laughs> but if you're at the fair, you can also get them in six packs. You can get them in our triple pay, play, which is our three packs. You can get them from our walk-up window. And then certainly you can get them if you stand in the queue of the original cream puff pavilion our bakery and actually watch how they're made which is a vision that's been in the works for 93 years wow 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 so uh, when we look at the Wisconsin State Fair overall I said over a century but mm -hmm. how many years exactly we are celebrating the 166th Wisconsin 166. State Fair Six. and 125 on the grounds of the State Fair Park in That's West Dallas. I love it. Steeped in tradition. Yes, indeed. Now, coming up on Monday, August 7th, you've got Cole's Family Value Day and Cole's Activity Zone. So that's something we want people to keep in mind when they talk about gathering the family and then even the neighbors, friends, everybody just go together and have some fun. It is the, it's the best deal for people that are going to come out to the Wisconsin State Fair. Mm -hmm. Adults get in for $5. That is, I mean, you can't go to a movie for $5. You can't really go anywhere for $5. So um, thank you to Kohl's and, and our partnership with them. So if you come in between 8 o'clock in the morning when we open our gates, we're a very early gate, or an, up until 6, you can get in for $5. Mm -hmm. So I, I highly suggest that you take advantage of it. If you've already been to the fair for $5, come again. <laughs> if you haven't been and you're watching, please do join us. Um, it's, it's a wonderful day. and. And you have a lot more disposable income to eat and ride and enjoy the rest of the things that you get to see at the Wisconsin State Fair. Yeah, and I mean, when you think of the fair, I guess it's safe to say you can't beat that deal with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> but <I'm glad>. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, there's free activities when you talk about, you know, saving some money and being able to do numerous things while there. Uh, you've got free family fun. Uh, the daily parade is something you can look forward to. They come out on schedule and it's really exciting for everybody because uh, it's just really a festive atmosphere that they create. They come through like we are here to have a good time. <laughs> that's what it feels like. And that's the intent behind yeah. it. So it's a lot of ways to showcase our different partners that are there. Um, so it steps off every day at 3 o'clock with the exception of the last and final day, which is our military mm -hmm. day. And that day, our parade is dedicated to all of the military and veterans that have served our country or are serving our country. And that steps off at 2 o'clock. But yes, you can't miss it from the sights and the sounds of, of the parade. But another great area that has a lot of um, free activities, if you will, mm -hmm. is a new exploratory park. So the people that have been to the fair before, they know it as the Department of Natural Resources Park. Mm -hmm. um, Department of Natural Resources is still with us. They are still there selling their permits and their hunting licenses and fishing licenses. But when you get in there, you'll see this beautiful, it takes you out of the, the madness and the craziness of the fair, which is a wonderful thing, but it gets a little chaotic. <laughs> so you can go into, into the exploratory park. It's got a natural setting. There's a wonderful playground in there for, for the younger children. A nice, uh, the U University of Wisconsin Extension is in there, the master gardeners are in there. Um, and then the beautiful thing is it's our new home to our history exhibit, mm -hmm. which is all of the archives of the 166 years. So on the far south side of the exploratory park, we now have a permanent home for our history exhibit. And it really, you, it'll take you through all of the years. It's, it's wonderful. Wow, that's amazing. And I'm even more amazed that you're able to keep up with all these things that's <laughs> going on. But that's why she's the CEO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's sitting here uh, telling us about all these things things to look forward to. Uh, what is it when you're not working do you most look forward to when it comes to enjoying the fair with your family? Huh. 
I just like to people watch, just, oh, just okay. walking around. That is just an seeing, aspect of it, just yeah. Just seeing everything that's going on at the fair, all the lights, all the excitement, all the noise. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a great feeling. Yes, and speaking of lights, cameras in action, live music. Uh, every year you get me excited about one, two, or three shows, it's for sure. Um, there is the Bank Mutual Amphitheater, mm -hmm. which is a big attraction uh, every year, uh, but you have the kids from Wisconsin that's coming up on Sunday, August 6th, so that's a great way for people to show their support for young people who are performing and doing things here They're in incredibly, sorry, um, they are incredibly talented mm -hmm. youth, and they do. They showcase and they will play every day at the Bank Mutual Amphitheater, which is our largest free ground stage, okay. but we have 30 free stages in addition to our main stage, which is presented by Potawatomi Hotel and Casino, and that is the stage that has our national acts. Yes. Um, I'm ready to talk about the <laughs> National Act. Uh, you guys do great every year, and I'm like, wow, somebody was working hard because you have some true legendary groups who are taking the amphitheater stage on Sunday, August 6th. You got the Beach Boys. And the Temptations. Yes, yes, the, the Beach Boys. Uh, classic, of course. They've sold over a hundred million albums. And then you've got The Temptations. Who doesn't know The Temptations? <laughs> uh, they've been performing for, what, 50 years or so. So to put them together, uh, the crowd is going to be awesome. I can only imagine. We're so excited about the show. Um, there are still tickets left, so yeah. you'd have to purchase them by 4 o'clock today. But it is at um, you can go to wistatefair.com for that. Okay. And all of our sh all of our tickets for any of those concerts at the main stage include admission. So that's really important to oh, know. Okay. So you should buy your tickets in advance. Okay. Um, for country lovers, you got something special coming up on Monday, August 7th. Kip Moore. Okay. And then, let's see. Uh, this was my era, high school days. I love the 90s tour. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> Vanilla Ice, Kid and Play, All for One. Tone Loke and Young MC. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> it is, we kind of had a similar show, a similar concert like this last year. I was there, yes. And, and you know, it was raining, so yes, it won't I be raining. That too. It didn't matter. No. It didn't matter. People were up and dancing Singing and- Singing along to every song. It was, <laughs> so I can only imagine if we get the weather that hopefully we will get, and it is just, it's a, I mean, they keep you rocking from the very start of it to the very yes. end of it. And people came out and they were just elated. Yeah. Yes, it brings back so many memories, uh, whether, you know, whatever group that you come out to see, it really is a special feeling. It's outside. It just changes the whole concept of being at a concert, you know. And it's on the historic Milwaukee Mile. Okay. So for the viewers that love racing, there's just that nostalgia of being on the oldest one mile oval in the country. So there's wow. a lot to be said for that. Well, there's a fact for you. <laughs> uh, this is the one that soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, I'm so there. Patti LaBelle and In Vogue, that is on Saturday, August 12th. And Patti LaBelle, do I need to say more? She might kick her shoes off into the crowd. She might fly away. You never know, but this is a legendary diva, and I'm so excited to see her. And in Vogue, well, those are the funky divas. Yeah. So to have them together, good job. <laughs> and finally, uh, of course, there are a lot of other acts to look forward to, but you've got uh, country stars Alan Jackson and Leanne Womack. Mm -hmm. They'll yeah. close out the Wisconsin State Fair on August 13th. Okay, so doesn't get much better than that. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to add before we wrap up? I just really want to tell the viewers to please go on to our website because everything is on there. If you're coming on a particular day, you can find out what you want to do on your particular day. If you're looking, you know, we've got you excited about any of these shows, <laughs> you can buy your tickets online. So highly suggest going to wistatefair.com. And I highly suggest that you come out. If you've been, thank you. Please come again because this is truly the celebration of the state of Wisconsin coming together for the 11 greatest days of summer. That's what it's all about. Thank yep. you both for Ooh, coming by. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> Kathleen O'Leary is the CEO of Wisconsin State Fair Park and Brian Bowen, he is the Director of Agriculture and Youth Programs. Don't forget the Wisconsin State Fair presented by U.S. Cellular is going on now through August 13th. For more information, like Kathleen said, you can visit their website at WI statefair.com and the number to the ticket office that's 414 266
7100. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll continue to focus on exciting things happening in the city and we'll find out more about an organization that supports the interests of downtown Milwaukee's business community. We'll talk to a representative from Milwaukee downtown right after this.